SVG is short for Scalable Vector Graphics, and Vector Graphics um, is graphics or shapes that are defined using numbers, which means they are very easy to scale up and down in size. You just multiply the numbers up and down, and then you draw the shape after that. And that is where the scalable part comes from. SVG is an XML format, and XML is a text format. And that means that you can define shapes, SVG shapes, by typing in text into uh, an SVG document. And if you look at the in the editor here on the left, you can see I have an example SVG document. In the browser on the right side, you can see how the browser renders this SVG document. Um, you can see if you look over here on the left, that inside the root SVG node or element, I have a rect element, which draws a rectangle. That's a red rectangle. I have a ellipse, which is blue, and then I have a line, which is green. And this is what the browser renders over here. SVG uh, can only render two-dimensional graphics or vector graphics. So if you want a th something three-dimensional, you need to look for something else. And there's something called X3D, or you might actually try to use some JavaScript 3D library instead, like 3.js. Most modern browsers can display SVG natively, and that makes SVG a very interesting alternative to bitmap graphics like PNG, GIF, and JPEG. SVG is pretty powerful and pretty feature-rich. In fact, it's too feature-rich for me to cover in just a single video. So I will cover each of the each of the features in separate videos. But at the end of this introduction video, I would like to show you a couple of examples of what you can do with SVG. And if you look here in the browser on the right, you can see that you can make you can create basic shapes like lines, rectangles with square and rounded corners, circles, ellipses, and polygons. You can also create more advanced paths with the path element. There you can, with that, you can create arcs, and you can create uh, quadratic and cubic curves. You can draw text with SVG, and you can draw both the outline and the filling, as you can see in the middle example here. And you can even make text follow along a curved path. You can also include bitmap graphics inside of your SVG images, of course. And I have an example of that up here. And then you can layer um, SVG shapes on top of each other, and you can make them transparent, as I've shown here. And you can draw text on top of a shape, of course. And um, you can rotate the shapes, as you can see here. Here I have a, a bitmap image, and I have a square with rounded corners and a text, and they are all rotated. You can also draw gradients, as I've shown here. Um, up here you can draw linear gradients and radial gradients as well and all of that will be covered in later videos and you can also use gradients as an opacity mask which means instead of drawing the color you can make a, a shape semi-transparent or more and more transparent from top to bottom of the shape as you can see here and you can see I've done the same with the text over here you can turn uh, shapes into links so in case I click you can see now I can click this rectangle. It's now a link. If we click it, it will, I will open a new window or I will open a new URL in the browser. And uh, you can animate SVG shapes as you can see here. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, it's you can do you can draw anything that um, that you want to do with vector graphics. And it's really only your imagination that sets the limits. So, but it's it's mostly or mostly suited for or suitable for um, graphs, diagrams, um, and for icons and logos. These are um, shapes that are graphics types that are naturally um, or very often naturally very simple or defined using simple shapes. And in case of icons and logos, you want to be able to scale them up and down so that you can show a logo in in small on a mobile phone and larger on a desktop screen and, and the same with icons etc